Hi guys, Jeremy with thecustomgeek.com here, and I have an Arduino Uno Q. And this right now is set up for the USB hub, and it's running on its own monitor, and I have a Bluetooth mouse and a keyboard, and it's running all by itself. So I wanted to talk about the RGB LEDs. So these guys right here, grab a pair of tweezers here. This is what happens when, never mind. Anyway, um, so these two and these two are four LEDs. These are all RGB LEDs, and two of them belong to the MPU and two belong to the MCU. This LED that's on right now, the blue one, so these bottom two are the MPUs, and this one right here has some dual control. And so uh, the blue is for Bluetooth, the green is for the wireless LAN. You see it flicker in here, that's just traffic on the internet. And the red is the panic. Like if it has a kernel panic, it'll throw that red LED on. That's what you do not want to see. In here, you have the Python, which is the MPU side. And you have the sketch, which is the MCU side. This is this side. This is a really kind of a different concept, especially if you're used to just Arduino, where you only deal with .ino files because you're used to this. This is in C++. Basically, this is in Python, like it says. And so you have a Python script, which is... Um, it's all just not there because we're not really messing with that right now. So if we go back into the sketch, one thing to note is that the outputs are reversed. So low is high and high is low. So if you digital write high, that turns the LED off. If you digital write low, that turns it on. And these are, um, without bit banging anything or going into that or direct port manipulation, these are controlled without PWM. So it's just high and low. There's no, there's no dimming. So we're going to go over here to our code, and we have basically just a real simple loop to um, turn on this LED again, low is high, high is low, turn on, and then wait for a little bit, and then turn off, that's the red, the green, the blue, and then go over to the other LED, this is LED 3, this is LED 4. So how these are referenced is LED 4 underscore, and then the color, and then the state that you need to do that in. And so um, if we go ahead and run this, now this takes just a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and click run. And this is going to do all kinds of things that you're not used to because normally it just compiles a sketch and then it throws it on the MCU. And so this does this a little bit different. It has to go through a lot of steps. And so we're still waiting for this to blink. This is a super simple sketch, but it has to go through the process. Once it goes through all the stuff, and then it's downloading and it dumps it in there. And now we have blinky blinky LEDs. So now we have these blinky LEDs. Hope you find that cool and we will do more videos on this and we'll get into the AI side, which we'll get into some later things because that also does some cool stuff. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.